Well, what is up guys? It is Tony from Lomo Paintball and today I'm bringing you a battle of the brand new LV2 versus the Dye. M3 plus. And why? Because who's the best source for paintball? Well, Mark, of course, it is LoneWolfPaintball.com. So, uh, price point, let's get that right off the rip. Both of these guns are right around $1,600. bucks. So you're not saving, uh, maybe you're saving five bucks with the M3 plus. We'll find out. You want to go from the barrels? What do you want to start with, Mark? Come on, tell me. Sure. This is a good one on barrels because those are both really good barrels. This is. Die has been known for years. Obviously, they've been known for the ultralight barrels. Um, so, ooh, a die, the old die boomstick, two piece, 14 inch, uh, plenty of inserts available, but yeah, come stock out of the box. It's a 684. And like I said, die has been known for their barrels for many, many years. So, nice two piece. Uh, I like it. Obviously, very, very nice sound signature with the porting holes up near the tip of the barrel. I do like that. But with the brand new LV2 we're talking here, it's got that S63 barrel system on it. It is a three-piece barrel system. So you've got your insert, your back, and your tip. I believe the insert on this is roughly eight inches long. So it comes the gun comes stock out of the box, a 689 and a 685 insert. You can pull the new power inserts out, PWR. I'm pretty sure it stands for power. So that's the insert that sits inside. And then you have your reverse thread you have your back and your tip completely separate so it's a three-piece system i do like that and obviously the inserts in my opinion not quite sure yet though mark i think they're going to be a little bit cheaper than buying a brand new entire barrel back like you would have to do on the m3 plus just throwing that out there um cosmetics wise i mean they're both beautiful markers obviously and you will notice that the LV2 does no longer have your transfer tube there. So you've got that. And obviously the M3 Plus, I don't see a transfer tube there at all. So it's kind of up to you on, on what kind of marker you're really looking for. You're looking at a, a true spool valve gun. And then you've got your double stacked poppet here with the LV2. So it's up to you. Operating pressure is a big one for a lot of people out there. Both roughly run around 115 PSI operating pressure. So air efficiency, getting the most uh, bang for your buck or pods per se out of your air tank, probably about the same, but we will do an efficiency test on this to see. Mark, do you know if we've done one on the M3 Plus before? I thought we did, but I can't tell you how many pods it got. So you might have to go look in the back if catalog. If we did, we'll go in the backlog. And if not, definitely you will see one in the future. Um, front grips, obviously pretty much you've got your high pressure regulator here with the LV2 though, you've got your HPR and your LPR built in to that removable front grip. So it's all up in front. If you want to do a little tinkering or adjust your velocity, you've got both of them sitting right there. If you need to service it, retainer clip, pretty easy to do. Beautiful design by PE. Um, on this one, you do have these eye covers. You can take off the new grips that they, the new contoured grips, take them off completely toolless. You can have access to your eye covers on each side. There is a spare, um, detent also included, and, uh, you don't have to mess around. Don't bring out the Allen wrenches. You don't have to do that with the M3 plus though, guys, if you don't know, it does have that, um, what are we calling it, Mark? The eye pipe? Yep, that would be the name. That would be it. That is your eye pipe. It's got the detents built right into the eye pipe. So uh, super cool, pretty pretty nice to have because you don't have to worry about cleaning your eyes out if you break paint. It's all built in. You pull this sleeve out, clean it off, and throw it right back on. Since we're up into the front of the gun mark, let's talk about the actual feed neck levers. You've got your thumb screw here. You've got your locking clamp here as well. So uh, whatever hopper you're throwing onto this marker, you can tighten it down with your thumbs and then lock it in with a lever, good to go. Same thing with the LV2. You've got a nice thumb wheel here, and then you can also obviously lock it in with the lever. So pretty, pretty decent. Um, we need to see bolts. What's the bolt, difference yeah, with the we're bolt talking systems? The brand new Kier FT bolt that comes in the LV2, you pull it up, slide it on out. It's a self lubricating bolt, nice soft tip on the inside. So very, very nice uh, job by PE's developing team for the new Kier FT. And on this, yo, Fitz, what they call this, an F21? F20, FL21. FL21. You've got a press button here, Mark, to get the bolt out the back if you need to lube it for uh, maintenance. 
pull that bad boy right on out. Yeah, it is the FL 21 bolt spool valve marker. Also, obviously, the thing I will say about the Poppet with the LV2, it has less O-rings than, than the M3 Plus. Let's just, we're going to call it as it is, both excellent markers, but just depends on what type of player you are, what kind of shot you're looking for. So I like that. Um, the thing that the LV2 does not have over the M3 Plus, though, is this gorgeous, and I don't know if it's going to show up well on camera for you, Mark, the gorgeous display screen. You've literally almost got a cell phone built into this marker. So it's kind of up to you. Once again, what type of player are you? Like a little crispier shot, a little smoother shot. Has it, can you see that mark at all? Probably nope, not. not at all. Okay. So anyways, guys, just believe me, it's got a beautiful uh, display screen on the M3 Plus. Both of these have super, super adjustable triggers on here. So there's plenty of set screws on the M3 Plus. And I think that's four or five at least. And I know there's um, five adjustable set screws for trigger wise, depending on how you like your shot on the LV2 as well. So you can get in there and kind of do whatever tinkering that you guys want to do. We shall talk about ASAs now, Mark. Um, this one does have the obviously air on and air off. You've got your POPS ASA. So engage the air and the M3 Plus. Also, I believe they call this the slaps ASA. So you literally just once your tank's on, you can just slap that right into position, ready to rock. Do you like to pop it or do you like to slap it? Oh, I don't, I don't know. Um, That's, I know it's a personal question. No, they're both good. I, for me, I'd probably prefer the pops, but hey, to each their own. And maybe you haven't slapped it enough. Yeah. Maybe I have not. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Mark, hit me with something else while I'm putting this eye pipe back in. Uh, out of curiosity, uh, what kind of upgrades are available for both? Is there more for one than the other right now? Um, color wise, I think the M3 Plus probably has more colors because I think there's four, currently on the market as I'm doing this video, like four or five for the um, LV2. I think think the M3 Plus has more than that. Different prints as of right now. Obviously, the LV2 is brand new. So, um, and obviously availability is slimmer on the LV2 right now. Yeah, since it's a brand new gun but, out there. Uh, yeah, that's right. I can't even get this eye pipe back in right now, Mark. Ruh -ruh. Yeah, we're going to have to push the bolt back and see where we're at. But on that note, uh, what are we doing, Mark? Are we getting out of here? Yeah, I can't think of anything else. If you guys got any questions for us, Leave them in the comments or go post them on the Facebook group. Ask us anything and we'll get to them eventually. Uh, otherwise, where do they shop? They shop at uh, LomoPaintball.com. See ya.